Hello everyone, I'm Rachel Rickle and I'm an instructor here with the first year writing department at Cleveland State University and today I'm going to walk you through our writing process. Step one, understand the assignment. Don't just start writing anything willy-nilly. No, we give you guidelines. Read the guidelines, especially if you want to get a good grade. Also, highlight the important items so that you really know what you need to do for that paper. And if you're still confused about the guidelines and the important items, talk to your peers and ask your professors. Don't just wallow about by yourself in self-pity. We're here to help you. And once you actually understand the assignment, we can go ahead and move on to step two, which is where you can gather your ideas and actually think about what you're gonna write about. You can brainstorm with a variety of processes, including outlines, idea webs, free writing, that's my favorite, concept maps, you can list questions that you want to answer throughout your essay, you can even start drafting a working thesis. And once you've gone through these items in step two and you actually have an idea about what you can start writing about, well, you can move on to step three and you can actually write your draft. You can take your brainstormed ideas and put them in sentence and paragraph form. You can list your claims that are going to support your thesis, add in some evidence, explain your evidence as to why it's important, and even put transition words to connect your thoughts. And once you get through step three, we get to a very exciting step, and that is, well, step four, where we actually get to revise the draft. Now, I did say this was a process, right? So revising the draft is a little different than what some people might think. They may think of proofreading. We don't mean proofreading here. No, we mean big ticket items, like check your topic sentences. Make sure your claims actually support your thesis. How do you have enough evidence? Is your evidence well enough explained? Do you use transitions throughout? Do your ideas actually make sense? And if they don't make sense, you might want to start over. And that's okay. It happens to everybody, even me. But hypothetically, you get it through step four, maybe the second time around. It's okay, it's okay. Now we can move on to step five. And step five is where we can do what usually everyone would have thought step four would have been about. And this is the proofreading and editing of your draft. Now here is where you can go ahead and fix things like sentence errors. Are your commas in the right spot? Do you have enough commas? Maybe spelling errors, spell check doesn't catch them all. Do you have enough transitions? Always make sure you have enough transitions. Are your citations in the correct format? APA, MLA, Chicago. If you don't know what I'm talking about, hopefully you will soon. Word choice. Make sure you're using college level language and actually that you're actually even using the right words. Sometimes spell check will put the wrong words in somewhere where you had a spelling error because it really doesn't know what you want. But even after you get through step five, get through all of this, there's a very slim chance that, well, this might happen. And you might start over. And that's okay. Just hopefully you've budgeted enough time for yourself to get through all these steps. Hypothetically, you may get through step five. Hurrah, we're on to step six now. And step six, this is where you actually get to turn it in. Maybe get some feedback from your professors. Maybe revise again. Maybe even start over. After all, it is a writing process.